Hey guys, Andrew Perlott with Renaissance Humans. Today we're doing a three year follow up on a video that I did back in 2015 talking about a woman's case study that was published in the British Medical Journal. This was put out by True North, uh, run by Dr. Ellen Goldhammer. And uh, it looked at a woman who had follicular lymphoma, basically uh, cancerous nodules, maybe the right term, tumors in her lymph nodes. And uh, interestingly enough, over the course of a 21-day fast, those lymph nodes shrank from uh, being very obviously palpable to being, you could, they couldn't really tell they were there anymore. And the woman then went on a vegan diet that was free of salt, sugar, and oil, and she, uh, you know, in the follow-ups in that initial case study was, was still free of um, cancer, uh, up to I think nine months was the original one. And just recently they, follow, they published a follow-up. The woman came in again to do a, a fast for health maintenance reasons. And um, she hadn't gained back any of the weight she'd lost. And uh, most importantly, what about those lymph nodes? So after three years on a vegan diet, she came in for her fast and they did a physical examination and blood test and they couldn't detect uh, by feel those lymph nodes and otherwise she was in great health. She had maintained her weight loss. A CT scan showed that her lymph nodes looked completely normal. This led the authors to observe that there was no indication that she had follicular lymphoma anymore and the regression had persisted for three years and uh, didn't look like she needed any other help. So why does fasting work against cancer cells? The drop in IGF-1 and leptin levels uh, may well play a role, but science is increasingly showing that fasting reboots the immune system, and it may be that this activates, along with other biological pathways, uh, basically a biological mechanism that's able to take care of some types of cancer. Now, during the initial case study, the included patient testimonial said that she found the first three days to be the hardest, but after that, things got a lot easier, which jives with my own experience doing multiple long fasts over the years. In the follow-up case study, she talked about eating a very strict vegan diet and the challenges inherent in that, and she admitted that life outside the fasting facility was kind of challenging. Friends and family are, you know, presenting food, and she's learned to eat foods before she goes to social occasions so she's not tempted but she's been able to stay on track because she wants to live a long healthy life to be there for her kids and her husband which um, I think is a pretty admirable way of looking at it. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. Maybe there's someone who has a health condition. Maybe it's cancer. Uh, it's some conditions, some types of cancer respond well to fasting. And uh, you may want to consider that. True North, uh, the place where this case study was, was recorded, um, is one of the most famous in the country. You can certainly check them out. And uh, I highly suggest you consider help improving your diet no matter where you are uh, in, in your life. Uh, it never hurts to eat a, a plant-based diet um, and get rid of the junk food in your life. Uh, a fasting mimicking diet is a way that is not as uh, perhaps we don't have the, the, the hard data to say that it will reverse tumor progression as so much, but I've talked about my experience with that and some of the science behind it. I'll put a a link in the corner and uh, in the video notes below. But uh, I, <laughs> I hope uh, you get your life in a little bit better gear. Consider a fast. Consider uh, adopting a healthy plant-based diet. Um, I'll see you guys later.